Okay, class, so we are going to continue about the existence of limit. Alright, so this is a piecewise function. Alright, as you can read it, fx is equal to x plus 1 for all values of x less than 1. Alright, uh, fx is equal to 3 over 2 when x equals to 1. And fx is equal to 2 minus x when x greater than 1. Alright, so first of all, to find the limit of fx when x approaching 1, so we are going to look at the limit of fx when x approaching 1 from the left hand side. So the limit, the function here will be x plus 1 x approaching 1 from the left hand side so substitute the value of 1 so i will have 1 plus 1 so i will have 2 here we are going to look at the second condition the limit of fx when x approaching 1 from the right hand side so the function that, are, that we are going to use is 2 minus x Right, so this is for x greater than 1. So, x approaching 1 from the right hand side. Substitute the value of 1. So, we will have 2 minus 1. So, we have 1. So, the limit here is not equal. So, we can say that since limit of fx when x approaching 1 from the left hand side is not equal to the limit of fx when x approaching 1 from the right hand side therefore the limit of fx when x approaching one does not exist. Alright. Okay. There are a lot of questions that you can try to do. Right. So, this one you can try to do by yourself. Right. So, look at number two. Right. So, this one I would like you to try by yourself. So, look at B here. Okay, so this is by the graph, alright? Okay, so we're going to find the limit of gx when x approaching 1. Okay, first, we have to look at the limit of gx when x approaching 1 from the left-hand side. It is approaching negative 3 from the left-hand side at point 1 from the left-hand side. So, the limit of gx when x approaching 1 from the left hand side is equal to negative 3. The second condition, the limit of gx when x approaching 1 from the right hand side, that means here approaching 1 for the right hand side. So the graph is approaching 3. Okay. So, to look at the existence of limits, right? Since the limit here is not the same, so we can say that the limit for gx when x approaching 1 does not exist. Right? Okay, therefore... Limit of gx when x approaching 1 does not exist. Alright. Okay. Look at the other graph here. Alright. Okay. So, we are looking at... Okay. Uh, we continue later. 